today. It is Wednesday, April the 10th. In um, what for the week, at least so far, has been the larger um, largest down draw on the day. We were down uh, 422 points on the day, which is a little over 1%, 1.05 to be exact on the Dow. The NASDAQ and S&P were both down as well, although less than 1%. So in point terms, it sounds uh, probably worse than I suppose it is. You know, th these types of ups and downs just happen in markets. It's what they do. But it was surrounded around the CPI number that came out <clears throat> on both core and headline. That was a an entirety of one tenth higher than we expected. So we were expecting 0.3 percent for both headline and core. We got 0.4 percent <clears throat> on both year over year. Headline was 3.5. We thought it would be 3.4. And core was 3.8, and we were hoping for 3.7. Um, keep in mind on core, last month was also 3.8. So it's not that it went up, it's just that it went the same, and it didn't go a little down like we were hoping for. So markets were upset about it, and pretty much were, were down all day long. Um, interest rates were the bigger news. Uh, the 10-year closed up 18 basis points, which on a single day is a, is a pretty decent move up in interest rates. And part of it was because of a higher the CPI number that came out. And the other part of it was there was a 10-year bond yield, $39 billion that went poorly. Um, those two things are tied together, you know, rates going up and the bond auction not going as well as far as bid to cover goes. So there you have it on the day. Um, the uh, PPI numbers, you know, like I said, they were a tenth higher, so 0.4% for the month. Um, if you look at what was inside of those numbers and kind of open the hood, Food was only up 0.1% for the month and up 2.1% on the year. Energy, which was up 1.1% for the month, so a big move up on the month, is still only up about 2.1% 2, 2 on the year. Um, auto insurance was a big gainer, up 2.6%, 22% year over year, so that's kind of a big mover. Um, I don't know what percentage of people's budgets necessarily that accounts for, but it is, it is in there and, and it matters. Um, hope, hotel prices were lower by 2%. Uh, core goods were lower by 0.2. So uh, all in all, it actually, in my opinion, really wasn't all that bad. I think there was a little something for everyone like David wrote in there, depending on how you wanted to sort of spin it. But at the end of it all, if um, we're super upset because it was a tenth different than we thought it would be, uh, I just don't think that is a whole, whole lot of difference personally. Um, <clears throat> there was minutes out from the Federal Reserve's meeting in March that essentially showed most participants, while they discussed it, were still, you know, pretty pretty set on the fact that we had seen peak rates and that rates would go down towards the second half of the year, um, which is good. They did open the door, I thought, pretty pretty far uh, with slowing down, not necessarily ending, but but starting to slow down the pace of quantitative tightening. And so my comment today was, um, I, I fully uh, subscribe to the Fed being independent. I, I believe they are. I think they've got their mandate. I think they follow the mandate of, of full employment and price stability. And I think that's where they set rate policy. And I think that's where they uh, maneuver their balance sheet. Um, but I also think they're aware of other things too. For example, the fiscal side of the equation and, and what the treasury has to do, which is sell, sell government bonds in order to fill a $2 trillion budget deficit, 2 trillion. So it's a big number. Um, and right now we're spending 17% of total tax revenue on interest expense, which is historically quite high. Uh, and that, that average uh, interest rate is only 3.3%. So it isn't like we're all the way where interest rates are. They're, it's still a pretty low, low rate. So I do think the Fed pays attention to that. And I say that because of quantitative tightening. I believe that they'll end up talking about slowing that down sooner than later. And I think the minutes today showed that. Um, the Ask Brian section in there talked a little bit about our estate planning services. It was a question that came in a few days ago, um, and uh, I answered it basically, which is that we do the planning and the design in-house and then outsource the legal documentation to, to attorneys in local arenas and give clients benefit of scale from our business uh, and uh, a, a due diligence that we've already done on the attorneys. There's a big, huge benefit of saving time, saving money. Uh, making it easier uh, for people, all those things. So design is done in-house and then outsourcing the legal documentation. Tomorrow, we have a jobless number, jobless claims, and a, an input on inflation, which is the PPI, Producer Price Index, that will be out. 
And um, so we'll have that to kind of talk through with you. And um, with that, I'm going to let you get on to better things for this evening outside of looking at uh, your media, looking at the market, which was down on the day. And just know that, um, you know, we're talking about a tenth difference than what was expected on CPI, still trending in the right direction. So with that, I'll let you go. Have a lovely evening and I shall talk to you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.